Now that we have solved eight edges, four are left. We have to bring the cube in this uh, condition and we have to solve one more edge so that three edges are left to, to solve. In this case I have brought all the edges solved in the, in the lower part of the cube and the four uh, left to solve are in the upper side of the cube. Now we have to solve one more edge so that three are left. I immediately realized that one edge is, uh, has already two parts joined together, which is the green-white. So we can work on the green-white and solve the green-white with this part of the cube, with this green-white. So uh, the sequence is always the same. One has to be in front of us on the right side of the cube, the other one is on the upper side of the cube. I have a scrambled uh, edge here and then I have to go down the three colors. These two are, uh, are the same color and this one is different so we can match, um, we can do something like this. We, ha we can match this one and this one, okay? So we we are doing something different from what we've done before, but it, it has no importance because we are just working on two um, on two level two levels of the cube uh, with the same move sequence. But you can do that; there is no problem. Now I can bring the the solved edge in the upper side of the cube. I move this scrambled edge from here to here, and then I go down. All I have to do now is to rebuild the centers uh, doing two different move movements. This one and this one. As you can see all the centers are still solved and we have solved the, uh, the other edge. Now that nine edges are solved, we have to, uh, we have to solve the last three. And this is the condition we have to be in for the last rotation uh, of the pieces of the edges. Um, these three edges uh, have to be solved. I immediately realized that this one has two pieces joined together, the other two mm, are not in this kind of situation. We have to bring the other two edges just like this one, I mean. All the three edges have to be with two pieces lined together. The last one has to be um, different. And it's better that the different one has to be on the left or on the, on the right, but not the center. Two, the situation has to be exactly like this one, but all three has to be just like this one. Uh, maybe you have one edge already in this condition, just like me. Maybe you don't. So we can work on the green-pink here and join the pink-green with, with this pink-green. So the sequence is uh, always the same but we have to pay a little attention to what happens to the rest of the cube. So, one has to be in front of us on the right side of the cube, just like we have done before. The other one is here. So, we can go down with this one. We have to be, uh, we have to involve the last, only the last three edges we have to solve. So, I bring this down and I see that two colors are different so I can line this up with this one okay we have to uh, we cannot use this uh, solved edge we have to use the last one we we have to solve okay which is the only one to involve because we have to involve only the three left to solve but this uh, this is a problem because as we are working on the lower side of the cube, 
okay? When this edge will be brought here and then down, I immediately realized, but this comes with experience, that this one, this uh, jolly one, will be here, which is on the upper side, on the higher level. If you don't believe me, do something like this, like this, and you will realize this. Okay, you can see this one is on the higher level, but we have to work on the lower level. So we have we have to bring this up and back again. So if we want to work on the lower side of the cube, just like this, because we have to match this together like this, we have to be sure that this last edge will have the jolly part in the lower side. So we have to bring this from here to here. To do this, we have to bring this in the back side of the cube. This is very important. Bringing this on the back side of the cube, we can turn the cube 90 degrees like this. Now we can uh, bring this down and have it flipped, just like we have did, just like we have done before. I bring the edge down. I bring the edge on the right. I bring the edge up. I bring the edge up again now, and I turn the cube back to the situation before. So this one was down here, and the edge, which was on the back side of the cube, it can be brought in the front of the cube. Now, as you can see, the jolly part is on the other side. And when it will be down here, it will be in the lower side of the cube. I'm going to show you what I mean. Now I can line this up like this, bring this up, move this edge from here to here, and then go down like this. Now the, the jolly the jolly edge the jolly part is on the right side is on the right level of the cube we can rebuild the the centers and we have two edges out of three which are in the ideal conditions I mean two are lined up the other one no two are lined up the other one no now we have to work on the last edge of the cube so that we have to achieve the same situation of the other two. This situation is not easy as we have all the pieces of the edge on the edge itself. I mean we don't have one of these here or here. All the pieces are on the edge but we can do that. We just have to flip one of these two uh, part of the edge and to flip one uh, of this uh, of this part we have to uh, move one of these here or here and then have it put together back after flipping it so uh, we can work on this one for example this comes easy because one edge has to be in front of us on the right side of the cube the other one is here so we can work on the upper side of the cube we can um, move this one here okay and have this one here but I immediately realized that when this edge will be brought here and then down this will be on the lower side of the cube. And this is wrong. This comes with experience. This comes with experience. But if you don't believe me, you can move the edge and see that this one will be here and then down. So we have to move this one from here to here if we want to work on the upper side of the cube. To do this, 
we have to bring these edges on the back side of the cube. Turn the cube 90 degrees this way, put the edge in front of us, and with this move sequence we move the edge down, we move the edge on the right side of the cube, and then we have to move the edge up. We can move the edge up again, and then we can turn the cube 90 degrees this way and bring this edge down. Now the edge is still on the back side of the cube, we can move the edge in front of us. Now this is on the other side, it's not here anymore, it's here. And when this will be brought from here to here, this will be in the upper side of the cube, which is right. Now we can move this one from here to here, like this. Okay. We can move this up, bring this one from here to here, go down, as you can see we are on the right level, and rebuild the centers. OK. So in this case we have solved another edge so that two edges are left to solve, but this is not a problem because we uh, need anyway three edges to solve the cube. I mean we have to still we have to focus our attention on the pink blue and now we have to um, match up the pink blue with the other pink blue like this okay and now it doesn't matter the, the solved edge here. It has no importance because we have to go up, bring this edge here, and then go down. Now we have to rebuild the centers. Now we should have three edges left to solve. Yes, we have three edges left to solve and this is what we have to achieve for this part of this tutorial. So as you can see all the three edges are made up by two parts lined together, the other one is not uh, correct. Okay, two parts lined together, two part lined together, the other one. No. So now we have to um, do what we have done before until we have all the three edges solved. And our goal is to do that with only one um, move sequence, the last one we have to do. Now, we can try to do something like this. One edge has to be on the right side of the cube, the other one has to be on the upper side of the cube, and we can go down with this one and see what happens. Uh, we can bring these two here from here to here, but we have to be sure that these two levels of the centers, they have to be the same level when we will bring this edge from here to here and then down. I immediately realized that this is not the correct situation because these two will be in the downside of the cube. If you don't believe me, you can do something like this. Bring this on the right side of the cube and then down. And you, as you can see, these two levels are not what we have to work on. So bring this back up and then in front of you. Because if we uh, have to line up the red blue, we, we have to work on the upper level and on the central uh, level of the cube. So we have to move this one from here to here. And to do this, we have to do what we've done before. Bring the edge in the, down, in, uh, in the back side of the cube. Turn the cube 90 degrees. Bring this down. Now we can 
move this from here to here. I bring the edge down, I bring the edge on the right, I bring the edge up and up again. Now we can turn the cube 90 degrees this way and bring this down. I'm gonna bring the edge from the from the back side of the cube to the front side of the cube, like this. Now I can do the move sequence, the last one that solves the, sand, the, the edges. I bring these two from here to here. One and two. Okay. I bring the solved edge in a safe place. Then I move this one from here to here. Now I can go down and rebuild the centers. OK. As you can see now, all the edges are solved. And now that all the edges are solved, you can solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube exactly like it was a 3x3, a regular 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Choose one color. And the cube is done.